guys, how are you? Me and my sister is here, and this is my sister Dana, and we are staying here, and we are having a jolly good time. I went and I got her today, and her son Richard is somewhere out there. I don't know, partying or something. You know they have musical or all kind of thing, young people and everything like that. So Dana and I, we are here looking at each other, loving each other. With great peace and great emotion uh -huh. and appreciation. Okay. And guys, she's a very good singer too. She writes a lot of songs, but you know, they don't really record or anything. She writes her own song, she sings her own song. She is Christian, she goes to the Adventist church. So Dana, can you sing a little song for my audience or my guys, them out there, my people out there? Just give them a little of your voice. Well, this is the voice of the Lord and the song to my dear loving sister. Okay, thank you. You have been away from me for so many years and mm -hmm. our hearts and mind is like a ticking machine to each other. Mm -hmm. But I hope and pray that the good Lord will bless and keep us mm -hmm. till the end, not for silver and our gold, but for the love that God will give us mm -hmm. and made us in one for life. Okay. This true love of yours is so real, you could have gone a long time ago, mm -hmm. but Jesus knows why. Okay. I could have gone a long time ago, but Jesus knows why. I was down on my knees, begging, Lord, help me, please. He gave me strength when I was weak. He gave me voice when I couldn't speak. I could have gone a long time ago. But Jesus knows why. I could have gone a long time ago, but Jesus knows why I didn't go. I was down on my knees, begging, Lord, Lord, please help us, please. I could have gone. Jesus knows why. I was down in the valley. He leads me now. I was up on the mountain. He lifted me up. I was sick on in pain. He healed it me. I could have gone a long time ago, but Jesus, Jesus knows why. But he says, my child, go and plant my word out in the world for my children to see what he have done. do it for you. I could have gone a long time ago, but Jesus knows why. I could have gone a long time ago, but Jesus knows why I didn't go. I was down on my I could have gone a long time ago, but Jesus knows why. I could have gone a long time ago, but Jesus knows why I didn't go. I was down on my knees, begging, Lord, Lord. 
please help me, please. I could have gone long time ago. Merciful God, but Jesus knows why. <laughs> okay, guys, as I said, this is my sister. I'm in Jamaica. None of them, none of my family knew that I was coming to Jamaica. And I gave everybody a surprise. I went with Lucy today for my sister. She lives in um, Westmoreland. My nephew lives in Lucy. So, guys, listen. <laughs> I did a good one. So, I told them before I came, I asked them if they have their ID and so forth to know whatever I'm doing. So, I found out from them, yes, they do have their ID. So, I booked the hotel room for them, for them to come and spend some time with me. So, my father, his ID was expired, so he couldn't get to stay with us. So, he was with us, and I think it was Wednesday, or I took him to the River Fall. He didn't go into the water. So, it wasn't my fault. He was shocked. He said that I nearly gave him a heart attack. Okay, <laughs> so they didn't know. I spoke to my nephew all along. I told him, Okay, I need him to come to Ochiraya's. Somebody gonna, um, they're gonna need somebody, I'm gonna send something for them. You know, I planned the whole thing, guys. Yes, I planned it. So, anyway, I spoke to my nephew this morning when I was leaving, and I didn't don't have a number, the make a number here. So, I said, Okay, whenever I'm gonna send somebody to come pick you up, whenever the person is near. Then I will call you and tell you what. It was me. The person was me, guys. So when they saw me, they was like shocked. Mm. The one that died, she was blaming her son and say that he knew oh everything, but he did not know nothing, guys. You understand me? So this is a big surprise for all of them. And this is how I do my things with my family. I will come to Jamaica, they don't know that I'm here, and I just pop up on them just surprise me. But I want to spend this time with my family, my grandson, my daughter, my father, my sisters, and you know, to make, enjoy this moment, guys. So, as I heard my sister sing a song, you write that song? I wrote it. Okay, she wrote the song, guys, she sing it. Let me know what you think about it and so forth. And you know, I'm happy to be here, yes. I'm tired because it's a long ride from here to Lucy, but you know what is a good tired for me and him to be my sister to be here where is tam now tam is in his room i'm spending some time with my sister tam is tired too so they are laying down so i'm just here having a good time catch up on some long time things so you know what guys have a good one and guess what tell them take a journey from a hometown to make a visit to another I was a comfort but brothers and sisters that I knew the pastor preached brothers and sisters he teach praise God a journey out and I made it sweet you must journey out you must journey out with Christ within that journey your smile will face you meet you must journey within that journey you shall salvation sweet <laughs>